I would like to welcome you back to the Average Guys Restoration Blog Project Beep Beep. It has been over a year since I've posted a how-to. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. Tim is behind. He's been a busy man. Uh, he is catching up the Beep Beep videos. And two, uh, I have not done much wrenching on Beep Beep. So if you remember last... Uh, almost two years ago, I replaced the door hinge, the driver's door hinge on Beep Beep, and I used a cherry picker, an engine lift for that. Long story short, a friend of mine needed that engine lift, and I sold it to him. And uh, now I wish I had it back. And so, anyhow, my passenger door hinge, the pin... Uh, and I don't know how it happened. It's the original hinge, of course, but the pin has actually bent in the hinge. Once we get it off, we'll take a look at that. Uh, like I did last time, I went to Superbird Bob for the rebuilt hinges. They have Zerk fittings, and he puts a sleeve in here. Uh, this time, though, I got some rattle can custom made. Rather than just using Surf Blue off the shelf from the auto parts store, turned out a lot closer. Uh, good company. This big rattle can of custom mixed paint cost me $26 with shipping. So how am I going to put this on without a uh, cherry picker engine hoist? I bought from Summit Racing. This is called an EZ Stack. E-Z-S-T-E-C-K. Uh, one-man door hanger. So you take the uh, perch out of your floor jack, you fit this in, it has rubber slots for the door channel, this is nice and padded. Uh, so that's what we're going to try tomorrow. So I've got the inner splash shield off and the uh, little uh, rubber shield to go around it. I sprayed penetrating oil and I went ahead and went through and broke loose every bolt. So I, I broke them loose there on the door. And I broke them loose there in the, uh, the A pillar, I guess. Or the, yeah, the A, the A pillar or the A column, whatever. So wish me luck tomorrow. We'll make some uh, videos as we go along. It's good to be back. Good morning. So part two of uh, the passenger hinge replacement. Uh, even though we've got nice padded rails here, if you've watched uh, my videos before, a good engineer wears a belt and suspenders. So why not? Also, I have noticed on several YouTube videos, I didn't do it when I did the driver's door, uh, just a big rib of blue painter's tape here on that lip of the fender. And that is there just in case accidentally when the hinge is off, the door goes too far. Uh, of course, it would dent it, but I, I guess that's a little bit of safety for scratching. Uh, one tip that I learned uh, actually from a body guy is get a reference point of the measurement of where the door is fully open. For a reference point, I'm going to use the center of the uh, little star wheel there and measure that uh, to the floor. And uh, let's see here. Looks like we're right at 70 centimeters. So when I get the new hinge on, I'll use the uh, jack here with the uh, door holder and, and bump that up to 70 centimeters from that reference point and then torque all the bolts down to the hinge and hope I'm close. Okay, going back to a good engineer wears belts and suspenders. The door is suspended by the floor jack. So there's my belt. And just in case, there's my suspender. Uh, even though I broke these loose last night and sprayed penetrating oil on them, uh, boy, that bolt there, it's got a lot of rust on it. 
and it was hard coming out. So Triflo, which is a, it's a light oil with a Teflon, we're going to soak those as we pull them out so they'll go in a little bit easier. That door closes like a new Lexus. Now, I don't know why they laughed. Uh, start to finish. Now, I still have to put the splash shield on and the inner panel. Uh, using this little chinese tool that I bought from Summit, though, made it, made it go fast. Start to finish, and that includes uh, adjusting the door. Uh, under an hour. I mean, I got the door, I, I got the hinge swapped, uh, the door adjusted. If the cameraman will come here, uh, when I did the other side, I learned that I want to adjust for alignment here, here. We're going to walk to the front of the car. And here and here. Now, it may be urban legend, but I've been told by multiple body shop guys that Mopar, on purpose, keeps this lip of the door kicked out. And it was that way uh, before I replaced the original hinge. The urban legend is, is that 65 and 70 miles per hour, the doors will whistle if you don't do that. Um, I thought on the old hinge, I thought the pin was bent. But basically, it's just so worn in here that it kept coming up and the door would kind of walk up and down when you tried to open and close it and it was becoming it was becoming a little bit temperamental I'll end the video if the cameraman would come over here to show the new hinge and the paint job you see down in there I'd say that looks pretty good and that was worth the twenty six dollars for the can so I'm going to get it all put back together, and I've got some photos that maybe Tim will also upload uh, to the website. It's good to be back. Okay, wrap-up video. Um, I took the tool, I disassembled the tool. Uh, we're going to be using it again. You know, I, I bought this tool and it's like, oh wow, you bought the tool, you did one door hinge, now you're done. You'll probably never use that tool again. Well, let me tell you, Tim's Mustang Project Sports Roof, the hinges are just awful on that car. So we will see this tool again on Project Sports Roof. Uh, you know, I don't want to rant too much, but this goes back to you buy a tool, it's a cheap low-cost Chinesium tool, but it's, it, it has value. It, 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 it worked for me today. But if you look here, this, this is the little plastic plug that goes into the saddle of the jack to hold the, to hold the cradle. And I can already tell you, after two or three uses, that's going to fail. And that's a shame. On this $100 tool, they saved less than five cents and this tool will be useless when this breaks what am i going to do i'm going to take this into work and see if my mechanical engineers can do a quick 3d print some replacement parts hopefully that'll work out we'll do that on monday okay uh next video and, and like i said earlier it's great to be back next video we're going to do trunk weather strip and, uh, and after that, we're going to fix the turn signal switch. So keep watching.